apologize to the motherfucker queen. What is wrong with y'all? Like, pause. Brian looks good every day. Let's not even go there. But I'm still right your royalty, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all you beautiful people out there in the world, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, you already know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and now, since I've been posting every week, I'm gonna be asking a question in the comments every week. So go ahead and respond to whatever question that I posted or whatever I posted down there, and you know, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post, and welcome to the royal gang, y'all. Now, we're here for one thing and one thing only. The motherfucking queen! The motherfucking queen! Let's just start with this. Let's just start with this. First off, y'all, before I even get into it, yes, I know your boy, you saw my last video, your boy had COVID. I've been like, I was even hesitant to even post a video, but I was like, I promised them I would post every Sunday. I've been feeling a little better, but I've been out of work. So I was like, I'm back. I got to post for them. And at the same time, I'm like, I need to be active. I need to be active. I can't miss a week. I can't miss a week. And I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to post. So I was like, I got something to talk about because I got feelings about this. So if you know me, I'm a fucking Barb and that's period. I don't care about what anybody got to say about Nikki, but this is what I'm saying right here, right motherfucking now. Ain't being cocky. We just vindicated. She been said that. Shout out to my haters, sorry that you couldn't phase me. Ain't being cocky, we just vindicated. Best believe that when we're done this moment, we'll be syndicated. I don't know. This night just remind me of everything they deprived me of. First of all, let's talk about how Miss Jennifer Ho, I don't even know how the fuck to say her name. Jennifer Hugh, Jennifer Ho, whatever the fuck she want to say, how she dropped all these charges. We been knew she didn't do it. We been knew the queen didn't do it. It was all a lie. Pretty on fleet, first off. Let's let's get into it. Shout out to my best friend, he gave me this. But anyway, I've had this for years actually. But my thing is, y'all, she dropped the charges, but was so adamant on saying that Nikki was doing this, Nikki was doing that, and then had another story that people clearly didn't hear. But I had to keep telling people, I was like, no, Nikki literally told you that this happened, this happened, and then this girl had this interview and literally said, like, no, it wasn't Nikki, it was some guy who offered me twenty thousand dollars and yada yada whoop de whoop. And it's like, apologize. Apologize to the motherfucking queen. What is wrong with y'all? Like, <sighs> yo, I personally, I'm just like, <laughs> I have battled back and forth with people. If you are a real barb, I'm pretty sure you have been defending Nikki to the death as well. We have been hearing her name dug through dirt. Okay, dug from dirt from day one. And I am an OG Barb, like back, back before playtime was over. Okay, like for real, for real. So if you know, then you motherfucking know. And that's that. But what I will say, what I will motherfucking say, starting off, I do not like when people come for my fucking queen. Like everybody's gonna have their opinion, that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion, but what you will not do is disrespect her. You can have an opinion and not disrespect somebody. And let's get that straight, period. The whole thing with Jesse and how that went and then everything before that with this fucking trial and the whole charging situation and then just everybody talking about her and then the baby and then Papa Bear, it's like, come on, like, leave her alone. Y'all don't do this to nobody else. And now I actually do see why Beyonce don't be saying shit because it's like, damn. Even with the whole COVID thing, when she was talking on Twitter, like her words be so misconstrued. Like they be misconstruing her words. And it's like, as my Barb ass, if you know me, you know, I had to do my due diligence. My due diligence. My due diligence. Due diligence. Due diligence. Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying it right. I had to do my due diligence and I had to come on here because I'm like, first of all, I'm feeling a little better. I'm about to go to work soon, back to work. You know, I'm getting back into my swing of things. I was like, let me make this video. I'm gonna do a little quick pop up on them real quick. Um, I respect many female rappers, but we know who the queen is. We could debate this all day, <gasps> but please, 
Put some respect on her fucking name. Please put some respect on her fucking name. Cause I'm still hood. Hollywood couldn't change me. Shout out to y'all haters. Sorry that you couldn't face me. Ain't being cocky. We just vindicated. We just vindicated. And that song came out when? The fuck? Look it up. You don't know what vindicated mean? I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Vindicated. She called that. Because she was vindicated. Now all I want to say is. Moving forward. Keep your Nicki Minaj slander to yourself. And for all of y'all who was like, oh, this and this and this and this and this about Nicki, that's okay. You have your opinion, boo. And I ain't gonna knock you. I'm not gonna knock you. Have your opinion. But what you will not do is disrespect Nicki. Not on this channel. This is not a Nicki hate channel. This is not. This is a Barb channel, okay? I do not post Nicki regularly, but best believe, a barb at heart and to the core. Don't play. Don't test me. So all I want to say is, y'all, COVID is real. <laughs> Your boy went through it. Getting back to the swing of things. And put some respect on the fucking name. Charges drops. Nothing. Dust. It's nothing. Now, as far as Mr. Petty, I... I that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Like, you can't help who you marry and who you love. Like, look, I'm just happy my queen is happy. But did I, could I have chosen someone better for her? Probably. Probably. But it's okay. Because, you know, that's who she loves and that's who the father of her child is. And that's all that matters. But y'all gonna stop playing with her. And that's that. Pause for a moment. I wanted to put this insert in because I feel like I didn't fully say what I wanted to say. As I was editing, I was watching, I was like, mm, I wanted to say more. So what I wanna say is, first of all, this in particular is relative to Nikki, okay? This is not relative to Kenan, okay? Always believe the rape victim when they say. I believe Kenny did that shit. But with Nikki, I'm talking about the allegations of her harassing and everything, because Jennifer clearly, if you look up interviews, she clearly, when talking to people, she was like, no, someone else came and tried to offer me $20,000. I never met Nikki, I never talked to Nikki, even though she said on the real originally that she did, which was why people was looking at her crazy. So the thing is, I'm on Nikki's side of the thing, okay? So don't affiliate me with Kenneth, all right? That, that's a whole different situation. I believe that it happened. Even when her interview in the real, she said, I didn't say it didn't happen. I just said I would drop the charges against him. But the thing is, that situation is that situation. I'm talking about her accusing my queen on this side, okay? That is, yeah, I don't care about that man. I care about my queen. Let continue. Anyway, not much to say this week. I'll be back at y'all next week, next Sunday. So stay tuned for next Sunday. You know, I post every Sunday, so be ready. And also respond to whatever question I got down there and comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever, all of that stuff. You know, the whole spiel, and I will see y'all next week. Always remember, if your crown ever falls, because it don't, <laughs> pick it up and learn that lesson. Peace, love, and blessings. This is Royalty Rye, and he says goodbye. You can't get rid of me, bitch.